him and told me that the chains for the Africana nation, the Boer nation, the white tribe on the southern tip of Africa will come undone in eight months' time. Eight months later the world was shut down, ever since then right up to now nothing has changed, they are still wearing masks, some countries are still locked down and so we are in this period. Once the women dies, the women with the blue eyes the seer mentioned, world peace is broken. This angel showed me that when these chains come undone in March 2020 which is still this period. The two-week lockdown period is upon us and will only be over when life goes back to normal, which means not a single country having social distancing, no masks, no jabs. When that is all over, then this period will be over. So during this period which began in March 2020 to this present moment, the chains are coming undone, and the threat of Russia would begin. So when Her Majesty dies, after the ceremonial funeral the events the seer mentioned will pick up. And if the timeline dream is correct, then by December 2022 most of the events spoken on the channel will be complete. Now to discuss world events. We see America out of Afghanistan, now America is projecting weakness on the world stage which is going to impact Europe with Russia and embolden China. This is why the Americans and the British are now working with Australia with their new nuclear submarine deal but the problem there is they threw France under the bus. Which is nothing new with the Anglo-American relationship. They threw the French under the bus like they did to Germany in World War II, like they did to South Africa and like they did to Rhodesia. This is why I say, do not waste your time with America. I am not talking about patriots, but the government, they are not our friends. They have no interest in our people. If America was so against racial laws, then they would have put sanctions on the new South Africa 25 years ago. How many international diplomats have been in South Africa since 1994? Not a single Western diplomat has ever spoken up or out about the atrocities taking place in South Africa. The Bible makes it clear, if you see atrocities taking place or crimes being committed and do not do anything to stop them, then you are just as guilty. The West are guilty of a lot of things, the worst has got to be the treatment of their allies here in South Africa. To think my ancestors fought alongside them in their wars to be thrown under the bus and that they sat on the sidelines for 28 years saying nothing about the atrocities, the 116 race-based laws. Ignoring the genocide of our culture, our language, history, our farmers and they did not put one sanction on the ANC government. They said nothing, did not do a single thing yet continue to lecture us about apartheid while implementing a form of medical apartheid. Forget the West, we have the ultimate partner, the ultimate weapon and protection. Bend thy knee, turn your back on the West, call upon the Almighty God of Israel. I pray, I pray with all my heart and soul, I pray Almighty you raise up our future generations, the future unborn leaders, present leaders and those unborn souls that we have nothing. Absolutely nothing ever to do with the West. I pray we turn our backs on the West forever, never to ever align or be brought into their chaos. I honestly pray that this message will one day reach our future leaders. Hold them accountable for their crimes against humanity, they sat on the sidelines watching our people be murdered. Have race-based laws and these two-faced hypocritical nations still have the audacity to lecture us about apartheid. The day, the hour, the minute this nation unite and do not give a damn or care what the West or the world thinks about us, is the day things begin to change. Let me also tell you, do not get hijacked during the chaos. I see there is a hijacking taking place during the chaos which tells me the chaos was orchestrated for the present hijacking. The cape is getting hijacked right before our eyes. I see this cape party, one of the cape parties is hijacking the cape right before our eyes. I looked into the party, I cannot find anything about them. This alone is super red flags for me. If the cape is to secede, it has to be the Africana, the settler and peoples of the cape who secede it and not foreigners secede the cape for their interests. I see the articles and responses they had and gave. They say they want the first, first world country in Africa to be in the Cape. 
Well I have news for you, South Africa was a first world country before you sanctioned it and destroyed it by putting the ANC in power, so do not lecture us about first world countries. This country was in better shape than many European countries, our roads were in better shape than American roads. So do not let this political party try lecture you or I about making it a first world country, the entire South Africa was a first world country by every stretch of the imagination. Then they wrote an article to Melanie Vervoort saying that they would not have to secede the Cape if it was not for the ANC doing such a poor job, UHM, excuse me, it is you. The West the Western nations who put the ANC in power with your sanctions, you turned Mandela into a god figure. It is you who took this country from a first world status to a third world status and then have the audacity to lecture us about how bad the country is doing. Yes it is doing bad because you wanted it to fail. My other issue is the main person behind this secession is not South African and is British. I have no problem with Brits or anyone but do not come to South Africa trying to solve a secession issue 8,000 miles away when you can solve Scotland's and Ireland's secession right on your doorstep. This is not South Britain, this is South Africa. I highly object to any foreigner trying to secede the Cape, whether they are Americans, French, Russians or British. This is an internal issue and only those from this region should do it. Please investigate carefully the parties, peoples behind these secession movements and make sure there are people, that is our people, for the people, in honor of our forefathers who bled and died for this country. This all forms part of the dream visions of them wanting to come take the cape and pick the apple right off of the floor. Now you can tie into this, the chaos we saw, the death of the Zulu king and everything else taking place. We are being hijacked right now, all under the cover of darkness and during the chaos may the Almighty shed light and expose all those behind this and may our people wake up. Secession must only be done by the Boer folk, the Afrikaners, the settlers of this country. Imagine France or some other country interfering with another country wanting to secede. They may assist but this is South Africa, not South France, not South America, not South Russia or South Britain. We gained our independence in the 1960s, we are a free people and if they wish to challenge it, they will be challenging the Almighty who released our chains in March 2020. The Almighty has undone your chains, our chains, my chains the nation is a free nation. O oh nation you will wake up and see that those who wish to try shackle you again or try tie you down or who try to steal. Your possessions this time will be going up against the Most High and I pray for their sake that they do not try for their own safety. It is decreed by the Almighty, you Africana nation, you Boers, you settlers are a free nation, your century of bondage ended in March 2020. As mentioned, I do not script videos, so I do not know how long this will be nor where I will go next with this video series because there is still much to cover. So more on world events. With France's stance with the United States and Britain regarding the deal with Australia. This could not have come at a worse time because from next year we will see Russia come out of the woodwork, the bear is going to come out of hibernation. The Russian bear will align with France and the Sears vision of them working together, France standing by Russia will be fulfilled. For those living in Australia it is going to get worse, very bad. I would not want to be in Australia in the future. China will take her, America is weak, if not.